this was not long before Gulliver started his neck quiet. On 7 September 1710, he went to the Indian Ocean. On the way, the New Zealanders became pilots. They left him alone on the beach of a small island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. As the ship sail away, he realized he lost. Some low stained looking animals were lying in a field, and some were sitting in a tree. Their hands and cheese were covered in hair. They had four legs and good calm teeth. He had never seen ugly animal in all his travels. Gulliver did not know if animal was going to attack him or not. But he hit it hard with the side of his sword. Suddenly a horse was coming along the road. So he supposed the animals were afraid. The horse stopped when he saw Gulliver. He nicked several charms in a very intelligent. The horse came close to Gulliver, looking at face and coats with grace in thread. Then the horse made clear signs for Gulliver to follow him. The horse led Gulliver to a chorlock, low building. Inside there were solo like alley looms with no furniture. Then Gulliver realized that the house did not belong to a human, but belonged to the horse who had brought Gulliver here. In this country, horse not people were in control. Gulliver started learning a little of their language. There was Hainu, means a heart. Gulliver found it very difficult to say this word, and so he decided to shorten it and call them Hoys. They so went were horrible looking animals Gulliver had seen earlier. They did a hard work and lived in dirty rooms in another building. These ugly animals called Yahoos. Hoy's master was interested in Gulliver as soon as Gulliver could speak the language. Gulliver and Hoy talk about life in another country. Gulliver said that in his country, people were selfish and lying. Gulliver knew that in this country, has peace, no making war, no lying, but had a sincerity and hospitality. Then, Gulliver in peace and truth began to seem more important than making war or making money. He became more and more used to the highest idea and the way of life. Several so, days later, Hoyce told Gulliver that he wanted to send Gulliver return to England. Gulliver looked sad to go back to England. He did not want to leave this country. He was afraid to return to England and wanted to stay here, but the ship was preparing for Gulliver, so he had to return to England. Two months later, Gulliver left from that country. He arrived home in England after being away for five years. He thinks his wife and children look and smell like yahoos, and he told them to keep away from him. 
Gulliver realized that people still lie, steal, and fight. Humans and yahoos, there will be men.